so let's begin so we'll take a new slide and if you have any text box here what you can do just select them all and you can delete or the other option is you just right click here go to layout and choose blank so in order to begin the very first thing that we are going to do is we'll take an oval so we have to press shift and drag so that you'll get a perfect circle go to format and give it as a size it's all up to you i'm giving six here so six height and six width it means it's a perfect circle i'll go to format again i'll go to align i'll just make it vertical align so that it will be perfectly in the center of this vertically center in this slide for my help now i will take this color palettes here just paste here so i just fill the color so it will come to gradient fill and before that i move further i want to make line as a no line which means i don't want any outline on this so i'll make choose it as no line we'll come to the gradient fill i'll remove this two center gradient points by dragging them down so they will be deleted automatically or otherwise what can be done you just click here and you can delete so first point i will take this color the second point i will take this color so in this way we have got done get it done and for the orientation i just want it to be going this way it's all up to you there is no thumb rule if you are happy with this let us continue with this not a problem so this is done next we are going to take an arc so under the basic shape you can find arc here by pressing shift drag the arc and just go to format again give it is a size a little bigger than the previous circle so the previous was 6 by 6 we'll give it is a 7 by 7 we we'll come to the format shape option we'll increase the width by 5 point and we'll make it as a square dot and cap type will make it round so you can see the edges are now round so what i'll do i'll just align this with the circle means the center to center alignment i will do and we'll rotate it by pressing shift we'll rotate it to make it somewhere now one thing just to match the theme what i'll do i'll give a fill color the solid line color as the same which belongs to my circle so i'll click here next thing is what i'm going to do is from my resource slide i'll take this icon and paste it here i'll drag into exactly into the center we'll press shift and control and drag it so that it drags from the center under the shape fill we'll fill white color in that now i'll take from the resource page i will take this photo and this text i'll paste it here in fact i'll take this text also so i'll move this entire thing little further just to make it we'll adjust it a little bit not a problem i'll copy this text also so i'll copy this text also this thing it's actually a simple line drawn using this line this is simple line drawn here so how we are going to animate here is we'll take a duplicate slide and just select these two and go to transition 
and you have to choose option called morph so if you have office 365 this option is there for you or if you have office 2019 this option is available for you but unfortunately any version before 2019 doesn't have morph so you have you have to have a latest version of microsoft office so we'll come here i'll choose this circle I'll come to the light color I'll go to eyedropper I'll choose the light green color here same I'll go to again eyedropper I'll choose the dark green color and same goes with the line also so I'll make it as light green and I'll rotate it by another 90 degree I will rename this text as research and some text here I'll move this line from here by pressing by pressing control and shift so that we'll get a copy and just stretch a little bit I'll delete the previous line and change this line color to the green color and here we go so since we are done now we are going to see how it looks so you can see this is our slide number five and this is slide number six so here you can see the preview so it's very easy isn't it thanks for watching my video i'll bring more tutorials on powerpoint for you in future subscribe to my channel for further updates see you guys